Hey everyone and welcome back. Yep. Have you ever, uh, you know how sometimes when you're watching something on screen, you just want to reach out and touch it? Oh yeah, like it looks so real you almost forget there's a screen there. Exactly. Or maybe you've, uh, you know, thought about having gadgets that are like super durable. What if I told you that that might be closer to reality than you think? Well, it really is incredible what's happening in material science these days. Yeah, that's what we're going to be diving into today. This material, uh, it used to be just science fiction, you know, but now it's like making waves in the real world. Mm. It's called transparent aluminum oxide. Or TALOX for short. Yeah, TALOX for short. And and today's deep dive is going to be all about like its incredible potential. So much potential. Yeah. So we're taking inspiration from a recent FISFIS.org article. Um, it's titled, Transparent Aluminum, Tiny Acid Droplets Turn Metal into a Glass-Like Material. Kitchy, right? I like it. All right, so before we get lost in all the science high stuff, let's take a quick trip down memory lane, back to the world of Star Trek. The classic. Remember Scotty, mm -hmm. the uh, the ship's engineer? Of course. He was trying to explain transparent aluminum to, like, this, this incredulous 20th century scientist... <laughs> And, like, back then, it just seemed impossible. It definitely captured the imagination, though. I mean, can you imagine, like, Starship windows made of this, like, super strong see-through metal? Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, while we might not be building Starships just yet, uh, TLOX is a real material with properties that are almost as impressive. It really is amazing. Right. Like, it's already being used in things like protective coatings for electronics and even solar panels. Yeah, and, and what's really fascinating is that it's incredibly hard and scratch-resistant, like, even yeah. more so than standard glass. Wow. Okay, so it's already making a difference even before this new discovery. Oh, yeah. But this new method for creating TLOX is what has everybody, like, really excited. For good reason. It's simpler, more environmentally friendly, and, and potentially way cheaper. Yeah, it's like a total game changer. Absolutely. So let's break it down a little bit. How does this new method actually work? The article calls it droplet scale anodization. Does that mean what I think it means? Tiny drops of acid. You got it. It's, uh, it's surprisingly elegant, actually. Just picture this. Tiny droplets of an acidic solution carefully placed on a small piece of aluminum. Okay, All right, I'm picturing it. Tiny droplets, aluminum, then what? Do they like zap it with a laser or something? Not quite. They apply a small electric current to those droplets. And when I say small, I mean only about two volts. Wait, two volts? That's like barely more than a AA battery. Exactly. And and that's the beauty of it. This this simple process transforms the metal into TAOX like right before your eyes. Hold on. I'm trying to wrap my head around this. So no giant lasers. Yeah. No vats of like hazardous chemicals. Oh, dude. Just tiny drops of acid and a little bit of electricity. How is that even possible? Yeah. Well, it all comes down to like precision and control. They use a technique called uh, electrowetting. It basically allows them to manipulate the properties of the liquid droplets with an electric field. It's like they're using electricity to sculpt the TALOX at a microscopic level. Okay, that's... uh. That's pretty mind-blowing. So with the old methods, you had these large-scale, energy-intensive processes. But now they're doing it with tiny droplets and a couple of volts. It sounds almost too good to be true. What's the catch? Well, the research is still in its early stages, but the potential benefits are significant. I bet. But before we get too carried away with all the possibilities, let's talk about why this new method is considered more eco-friendly. I mean, it still involves acid, right? It does, but by using tiny droplets instead of submerging the entire piece of metal in acid, they drastically reduce the amount of chemical waste produced. Okay. And because they're using a much smaller electrical current, the energy consumption is significantly lower compared to the older methods. It's a win-win for efficiency and the environment. That makes a lot of sense. So we've talked about the how, but let's get to the why. Why should you, our listener, care about this seemingly obscure material? Well, you might be surprised to learn that TLOX could be in your pocket right now. Mm. It's already being used as a protective coating on some smartphone screens. But with this new method, the possibilities are practically endless. I'm all ears. Tell me more. Just imagine a world where your smartphone screen is like so durable that like you drop it and it's fine. Like it just lasts at scratches. Exactly. And it's not just about phones. Either think about eyeglasses and camera lenses that are lighter and thinner and like way more scratch resistant. Okay. That's pretty cool. But I got to ask, you know, what about those like sci-fi applications? Could we be looking at say 
transparent aluminum buildings in the future. Mm, buildings might be a ways off, but this material could like revolutionize other fields. Like imagine car windshields that are super strong and lightweight. Oh, well, that'd be cool. Yeah, it could really improve fuel efficiency. I see. Or think about airplanes with transparent fuselages, oh. offering passengers panoramic views. Wow, I never thought about the view from an airplane like that. But wouldn't that be you know, a little unnerving for some people? looking down to the ground from thousands of feet up through a transparent floor. That's a fair point. Maybe it would be an acquired taste. Ugh. So think about the possibilities for architecture and design, you know? Yeah. Imagine buildings that seem to blend seamlessly with their surroundings, letting in natural light while, like, maintaining structural integrity. It could be a whole new aesthetic. Okay, now you're making me think differently about skyscrapers. Mm. So we've talked about, like, everyday gadgets and futuristic buildings. But are there any other areas where TA locks could make a real impact? Absolutely. One area that researchers are particularly excited about is miniaturized electronics. Right. With this new method, we could create these incredibly thin, transparent layers of TA locks uh, that could act as insulators in electronic devices. So smaller, more powerful devices because of transparent aluminum. That sounds almost counterintuitive. It might seem that way, but think of it this way. The smaller and more complex our electronics become, the more important it is to have materials that can handle the heat and stress. Yeah. And TALOX, with its remarkable properties, could be the key to unlocking even more powerful and compact electronics. That's pretty amazing. It's like this one discovery could like have a ripple effect across so many industries. Definitely. And to think it all started with those tiny droplets. But I'm curious, are there any like challenges or limitations to this new method? I mean, it can't be all sunshine and roses, right? Well, like any new technology, there are still some hurdles to overcome. One challenge is scalability. You know, right now they're creating TAL locks on a very small scale. Yeah. So ramping up production to meet industrial demand will require further research and development. That makes sense. It's not like we're going to have transparent aluminum iPhones next week. But what about the cost? You mentioned earlier that this new method could be significantly cheaper than the old ways. That's the hope. The old methods, with their high energy demands and hazardous materials, were really expensive, yeah. which limited the widespread adoption of tail locks. Right. But this new method has the potential to make it much more affordable, opening up possibilities for a wider range of applications. That's really exciting. It sounds like we're on the cusp of a material science revolution. But I have to ask, what about the ethical implications of a material like this? Could there be any like unintended consequences? That's a really important question. And it's one that researchers and policymakers are considering very carefully. Good. Transparency, both literally and figuratively, is crucial. We need to make sure that the development and deployment of this technology are done responsibly, with a focus on sustainability, safety, and ethical considerations. Yeah, I'm glad to hear that. It's important to think about the bigger picture, not just the cool factor. So we've covered a lot of ground today, from tiny droplets to futuristic applications. It's clear that TA Ox has the potential to like change the world as we know it. But what does this all mean for you, our listener? Why should you care about this seemingly obscure material? Well, the truth is, TA Ox might be closer to your everyday life than you think. And with this groundbreaking new method, it's only a matter of time before we see even more amazing applications emerge. And who knows? Maybe one of you listening will be inspired to come up with the next big thing, all thanks to this amazing new technology. If this kind of deep dive into the world of science and technology is your thing, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We love exploring the frontiers of knowledge, and your comments and suggestions help us decide what to dive into next. So let us know in the comments what other scientific mysteries you'd like us to unravel. Now, before we wrap up this episode, we have one final thought-provoking question for you to ponder. What other sci-fi materials might be lurking just around the corner? So we talked about transparent aluminum, but what about uh, like self-healing materials? Oh, wow. Or maybe even like programmable matter, the kind of stuff that like shape shifts on command. That would be incredible. Or what about room temperature superconductors? Yeah, are you talking? It's... Uh, it's pretty mind-boggling to think about. It really makes you wonder what the world will be like in a few decades. You know, what we think is impossible today might be totally normal tomorrow. It's both exciting and a little bit daunting at the same time. Yeah, I know what you mean. But that's the beauty of science, right? Yeah. It's always pushing the boundaries of what we thought was possible. It definitely reminds us to stay curious, to keep asking questions and exploring. Exactly. So to recap our deep dive today, we learned that transparent aluminum, 
once just a cool idea from Star Trek, is now a reality thanks to this like groundbreaking new method. And this new method is not only more efficient, but also way more environmentally friendly. It's going to pave the way for so many new applications. And we explored some of those potential applications, right? From everyday gadgets like smartphones and eyeglasses to like futuristic concepts like transparent buildings and even advancements in like miniaturized electronics. It's clear that TA Alex has the potential to revolutionize industries and change the way we live and work and interact with the world. So what are your takeaways from today's deep dive? What sparked your imagination? We encourage you to share your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this journey into the world of material science, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the fascinating world of science and technology. And as always, keep those questions coming. Your curiosity is what fuels our exploration. Until next time, stay curious and never stop learning.